Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever find yourself making excuses to not follow God completely? Maybe you sidestep some commands of God when you're alone and you think nobody's watching. In Mark chapter 7, the Pharisees criticized the followers of Jesus for not following a hand-washing ceremony before they ate. The Pharisees thought that the followers of Jesus were sidestepping God's rules and regulations uh, for the Jewish people. And so Jesus took an opportunity to give those Pharisees and religious leaders a throat punch. Listen to what he says in Mark 7, verses 9 through 13. You skillfully sidestep God's law in order to hold on to your own tradition. For instance, Moses gave you this law from God, honor your father and mother, and anyone who speaks disrespectfully of father or mother must be put to death. But you say it is all right for people to say to their parents, sorry, I can't help you, for I have vowed to give to God what I would have given to you. In this way, you let them disregard their needy parents. So you cancel the word of God in order to hand down your own tradition. And this is only one example among many others. Jesus went right for the Pharisees' throat. And it's sad, but kind of comical. Essentially, he said, you're more concerned about a hand-washing ceremony that my disciples do than about caring for your own parents. You care more about your own man-made traditions than following God's desire to provide for your parents. You care more about outward actions than actually following God. Traditions can be good. But if they get in the way of us following God, if they prevent us from growing as followers of Jesus, they are not worth it. You know, church people are notorious for holding on to traditions and honoring tradition more than they honor God or other people. Maybe your tradition is the choir robe or traditional music or modern music or a particular service time or the chair you sit in or what you wear to church. By themselves, those types of traditions, they're not bad. But if they cause harm to the growth of others, the growth of the church, or your own spiritual health, they're not worth it. So examine your life today. Think about what man-made rules you follow and ask yourself, could this create more harm than good? If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, share it, and leave a comment. God bless.